televangelist Ray Comfort put a video on YouTube titled, This Will Make You Feel Differently About Catholicism. In the video, he makes the usual accusations against Catholicism like, the Bible says, call no man father, Mary needed a savior, yada, 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 the typical anti-Catholic canards that have been answered a million times. Now, I normally don't respond to anti-Catholic videos, but I'm tired of these so-called Christians misrepresenting the Catholic Church. I'm not going to go through the entire video. There are plenty of good Catholic apologists who have put out videos refuting this Ray Comfort video. Instead, I'm going to focus on one claim that he makes to show people that he is not telling the truth about the Catholic Church. The hope is that if you see that he's not telling the truth on this particular issue, you will realize that you can't trust him on anything that he says about Catholicism. And if you want to know what the Catholic Church teaches and believes, you go to the Catholic Church. There are plenty of good Catholic apologists on YouTube, I believe myself included, that have lots of videos telling the truth about what the Catholic Church teaches and believes. Now in this video, he does his usual Ray Comfort man on the street thing where he goes up to people, sticks a microphone in their face and asks them pointed questions. In this particular video, he comes across a former Catholic, someone who was raised Catholic but didn't know their faith and left the church. Surprise, surprise. And now they are, quote, a true Christian. Let's watch the video. The Catholic Catechism actually skips over the Second Commandment. They took it out and they divided the tenth. The Second Commandment, if you look at Exodus 20, first is, I am the Lord your God, you shall have no other gods before me. The second is, you shall not make yourself a graven image of any likeness. Anything on the earth, under the earth, or in heaven, or in the sea, you shall not bow down to them. That one's disappeared from the Catholic Catechism and they split the tenth. So there's still ten in there. So when I ask a Catholic, what's the second commandment? They say, oh, you shall not take God's name in vain, which is the third, because they don't know the second is missing. What he says here is the first commandment is, thou shalt have no other gods before me. The second commandment is, thou shalt not make for thyself a graven image. And the third commandment is, thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. He says that the Catholic Church removed the second commandment, which is, thou shalt not make for thyself a graven image, and split the tenth, so there's still ten. What he's really saying here is that the Catholic Church removed from the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not make for thyself a graven image. Or at least, that's what he's implying. And I think anyone who watches this video would walk away with that conclusion. So let's look and see if it's true. This is the Catechism of the Catholic Church from the Vatican website, the Catechism Online, and here's what it says. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water underneath the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and Him only shall you serve. Just so you know that the Catholic Church didn't quickly change this because they got busted by Ray Comfort, here's a picture of the catechism that I bought in 1992. This is what it says. The same thing. Maybe Ray Comfort is under the impression that the Baltimore Catechism is the official catechism of the Catholic Church, which it is not, nor has it ever been. But let's take a look and see what we can find. Here it is. It says the exact same thing. Okay, maybe Ray is under the impression that the Catholic Church has not progressed since the Council of Trent in the 16th century. So let's look at the catechism that was produced by the Council of Trent. Here it is. It says the same thing. Now, you'll notice that in all of these catechisms, it says that the first commandment is, Thou shalt have no gods before me, and thou shalt not make for thyself a graven image. So what the Protestants consider to be the first and second commandment, the Catholic Church says is just the first commandment. If we open our Bibles to Exodus chapter 20, we find the Ten Commandments. You'll notice they are not numbered. And if we take into account that the headings, chapters, and verses were added to the text centuries after the writing of the New Testament in order to make it easier to reference passages, you'll see that the biblical text itself doesn't say Ten Commandments. At least not here. It just says, And the Lord God spoke these words. And if we add up the Thou shalt not in everything that everyone considers to be part of the Ten Commandments, that's 11 thou shalt nots, and that does not include honor your mother and father. 
And so they can be enumerated several different ways to come up with Ten Commandments and have been over the centuries. And the church sees, Thou shalt not have any gods before me, and Thou shalt not make for thyself a graven image, as one commandment, essentially meaning, Don't worship other gods besides me. And the church sees what Ray Comfort refers to as the Tenth Commandment as two separate commandments. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, and you shall not covet your neighbor's goods. It really doesn't matter much because both lists, Catholic and Protestant, regardless of how they're numbered, say the same thing. So here's my point. Ray Comfort clearly knows this. Otherwise, you would have to believe that he is going up to people on the street, making a video, putting it on YouTube for millions to see, claiming that the Catholic Church removed from the Catechism, Thou shalt not make for thyself a graven image, without actually looking for himself to see if it was true. I find that hard to believe. But going up to people and saying, did you know the Catholic Church numbers the Ten Commandments differently than we do? They have the second commandment with the first commandment and that's not right, is arbitrary. Nobody cares. And Ray Comfort knows that. That's not gonna keep people from looking into Catholicism for themselves, which is the goal. Because if they do that, they might just become Catholic. Another thing that Ray Comfort either himself doesn't realize or is exploiting the fact that people don't realize that catechisms are just a teaching tool. They are not infallible. So even if what he says were true and the catechism did leave out, thou shalt not make for thyself a graven image, it wouldn't mean what he is presenting it to mean, that the Catholic Church does not recognize as a commandment, thou shalt not make for thyself a graven image. It would just mean that the catechism is incorrect. And that's possible because again, they're not infallible. Now, Ray Comfort himself may not realize all of this. And if that's the case, he needs to keep his mouth shut because he doesn't know what he's talking about. Ray Comfort is not telling the truth here. So let me ask you a question. Does not telling the truth come from the Holy Spirit? No, it comes from the devil. Until my next video, God bless.